Hi everyone, this is Jenny Street with Confessions of a Hairstylist and I'm really excited because we're actually going to be doing um, shoulder length hair tutorials for you guys. So it's been requested by all my fans that you guys wanted to see styles on shorter hair or longer hair like collarbone length. So I have my girl here, Katrina with the foxy cat and that is with a k.com. Um, girls have to check her out. I'm going to go ahead and put her link below. So we decided to do a really fun half up half down um, bob length hair tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. Started. All right, so to start this look off, what I went ahead and did is I used some Label M products. I used their Sleek Blowout Cream as well as their gel, and I went ahead and cocktailed these products together, applied it all throughout her hair, and then I blow dried her hair straight. So it now it's given us a lot of texture, it's really silky, and it's gonna be really easy for us to manipulate. So now, getting started with this hairstyle, what we wanna do is we wanna create a nice base to our hairstyle. So I'm gonna actually start with the back um, area and we're gonna create a nice little circle section um, and then do a nice little braid inside of that. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of dry shampoo by Label M, just to add a little bit more coarseness. Now we're just gonna do a simple three strand braid. So I'm dividing the hair in three sections and then just crossing it over, creating a nice, simple braid. I've secured the ends of the hair elastic. Now I'm just gonna gently hold on to the um, base of the braid, and I'm just gonna pinch and pull just to create a little bit of volume at the uh, roots here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pancake the braid out by simply just fanning the braid and stretching it. Now we're gonna start incorporating the front into this um, braid. So I'm gonna do a rope braided uh, technique. So I'm just gonna take a triangle section around the front of her hairline, and I'm actually going to do um, where we split it in half, and we wanna twist the left section over to the left, and then you take that section up and over to your right. Now the section over to our, our left, or right is now over to our left. Twist it to the left, and go up and over to the right. Now we want to start incorporating hair into it. So we're going to slide our finger here, incorporate that hair on the left side. Before we twist, now you want to twist to the left, go up and over to the right. Now we want to add a little bit more hair. So we're going to go ahead and slide our finger from the hairline to our section here. I'm not going to add any more hair. I'm going to leave a little bit of hair above the ear out. And then we're just gonna continue doing a simple rope braid technique by twisting to the left and going up and over to your right. We're basically following um, along the uh, circle section we created at the beginning. I'm just gonna go ahead and secure the ends with an elastic. I'm now gonna add a little bit more of our dry shampoo to the braid and then pull it out just a little bit for some fullness. We're now gonna do the same thing on the opposite side and then we'll connect the, all the braids together. All right, so now we're gonna connect them all together. We're gonna to start with our right section and we're basically just gonna drape it alongside our circle section. And then I'm just gonna open up our braid here and then just pull it through. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and connect it to the scalp with using a bobby pin. So I'm gonna do that by lifting this up and you can see the ends of our rope braid there. I'm gonna just go ahead and secure it into place with the bobby pin. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the other side, doing the same thing, draping it, finding an opening, 
pulling it through and securing it into place by using a bobby pin. All right, so now I'm just gonna finish this look off with using a little bit of Label M hairspray. I love this stuff, you guys. So just kind of polish it off, smooth any flyaways um, down, and you can see how cute it looks. It's perfect for back to school, and any of those gals that are rocking a collarbone, a um, length hairstyle, a lob, short bob, whatnot, it definitely works for a variety of lengths, but I just love it on this particular um, length of hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thank you so much, Katrina, for being here. I'm gonna go ahead and put her link below, and uh, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys soon.